How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking about the Razer Keo Pro. This also works towards a new one with a ring light on it. So if you want to take control of this lens on a Mac and you don't know how, you're going to want to watch this video. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I'm on a goal of getting 1,000 subscribers and I truly appreciate that. And I hope this video gives you the help you're looking for. If you were like me, you were searching a bunch of webcams trying to figure out which is the best one to get. And for me, I was looking at something that had a good focus and clarity for the price. And I went with the Razer Keo. And I knew going in that I've watched reviews and stuff where you can't really edit the exposure and stuff with a Mac. But I've come to tell you that you actually can. So the Razer app doesn't recognize the webcams on a Mac, but there's an app that you can do that. And it's the most simple app name. It's called Webcam Settings. And many of the reviews of this camera talk about the focus hunting, which is a problem. I do videos where I have a top down and a a face camera, both of them using the Razer Keo, and it does have that issue when I'm doing a photo book. There's a lot of like trying to find the focus when it's on autofocus. Again, there's no you know settings you can change within a Razer app on a Mac, but with this awesome app called Webcam Settings, you can actually change it to manual focus, which is amazing, and change the exposure properly. And so yeah, download the Webcam Settings app. You know, unfortunately it's not free, but it is extremely cheap. It's $7.99 currently at the time of this video. And trust me, you're going to, <laughs> it's worth every penny. And that's it for the Razer Keo Pro. Follow me over on Instagram at OGBSmitty. And again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button here, please do so. And I'll see you in the next video.